What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's Offensive Scheme of the Week. Remember, we are in the West Coast Offensive Playbook, and let's hop into these audibles real quick for our man-beating formation. Uh, the formation we like to use out of the far, uh, or excuse me, out of the West Coast Playbook to beat man-to-man -man coverage uh, comes from the far pro. Um, and the audibles we like to set, we like to set the um, halfback seam as one of our audibles. We like to set the halfback dive. Um, the halfback sweep, and lastly, we like to set the tight end, um, or excuse me, the inside crosses. Um, that's our audibles here. Let's hop into these uh, real quick, guys. Um, remember, we're in the West Coast book. We're using the Miami Dolphins today, and we're going to be discussing how to beat man coverage uh, from this formation. Uh, first and foremost, if the if the defense is not balanced, if they're in like a, a spread or or whatever, I recommend trying to run this halfback sweep, you know, one to two times. I like to use motion uh, out of this West Coast playbook. I think motion makes this West Coast playbook um, a lot better, some motion snaps and things like that. Um, and my favorite run from the West Coast playbook right now is this halfback dive. I, I just feel like it gets really good blocking, especially in Madden 25 where blocking is really overpowered in my opinion. Uh, we can use that motion snap of that back, or excuse me, of, of Mike Wallace coming across here to... Uh, to work it and then if we wanted to the cool part about this formation is we can motion all the way across and then we can immediately be into our far tight twins and then run a sweep on the back side or whatever so the the ability of the the formation to change very simply with motion uh... really really adds to the effectiveness so that's the running aspects of these form of these plays um, and then let's go over the halfback seam it's our base pass play from this uh... what we like to do as far as adjustments go is we like to take our tight end and put him on a zig and we like to put our outside receiver on an out route, smart routed. Our first read on the play is going to be the tight end on the zig against man-to-man -man coverage. Um, we like to throw it um, when he cuts to the inside. Uh, there you see you see the, the one problem with it is if you wait a little too long, you need to just disregard the read in general. But if you can throw it right at the um, right when he cuts to the inside here, um, and you got to work on it a little bit. Even I don't have the timing perfect. Um, but right about there is where you want to hit him, you know, kind of right just before the fullback comes into play. Um, another thing you could do with this, as my table just broke, um, another thing you could do with this play is you could simply just take the tight end and put him on an in route. I don't like him on that out route. Um, here's why. The out route breaks, well, I mean, eh, I mean, I guess I could do you know what? Actually, I think the out route's probably the best, probably the best actual route combo we could do because of the fact that the 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 fullback, if you run the zig, it kind of gets in the way. So, I'll, okay, so we'll just go with the out route here. Uh, I still like that smart routed right out route to uh, to Mike Wallace here. Um, our second read is going to be the fullback. Pretty easy transition. When he cuts up field, you can kind of snap throw it to him. Um, but remember, he the fullback's more of a read I like against zone coverage instead of man. Um, the third read is the running back, and what we like to do is we'll just pass lead it. Um, typically, I'll pass lead this to the outside, uh, but there are very few instances. If the defense is playing him to the inside, I'll pass lead inside. But, or excuse me, if the defense is playing him to the outside, I would pass lead inside. But you're basically with this little route um, to the halfback. You're waiting for him to light up, and then you're going to throw it. And and you know what? If if you throw a pick, you throw a pick. Um, I'm telling you right now, you're going to throw a lot more touchdowns than you will interceptions with this route. Um, and then, of course, with the user control, you can make a user catch, whatever. I really like that route. It, uh, and it destroys zone coverage. Um, man coverage, is, it's man coverage. it really d was doing good for me yesterday. Right about there, if you hit him early. Uh, but you have to click on if you do that. So that's the one drawback to this, this route um, is having to click on. But if you are comfortable clicking on, you know, it's it's a very simple route to master. Um, and then, of course, our, our late read um, is the um, – I keep going to the wrong play. Our late read is Mike Wallace here on this out route. Uh, love out routes this year against man, just like last year. I think last year, you know, they started out being one of the more effective routes in the game. And then towards the end of the game, they kind of tailed off. And then I think we kind of left them off. Uh, I think out routes are still very effective. And then, of course, we have an unbumpable comeback route. Pass lead down, and uh, we can make that user catch if we need to. I really, what I've been doing with comeback routes, some of you guys have been having some trouble. Right before they snap, pass lead down, and then click on. You need to click on to your player. 
hold L2 to strafe him, and um, then you're just going to hold L2 and then come back to the ball. You want to do, uh, and also, as you saw there, I, I know some of you guys are probably having trouble with the corner doing that um, as I run the ball on accident. Um, the corner doing that. If the corner does that, you want to just went, wait a little bit longer. Right there, um, of course. Right when he lights up, right when his icon lights up, that's when you can throw the ball. Um, that's probably the best best example I can give you as I'm just going ham hey, here, doing all sorts of random crap. Uh, let me get this route for you. And then you're just going to click on and uh, user catch that. Now, um, another thing you could do if you want to just be a little safer, just throw it and click on and user it. Um, that's probably the easiest way, but some people don't have that 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 down so I have to you know I still want to show you that option as well so that's the comeback route you could turn it into an out route and it would still be man um, don't don't think that out routes don't be man on the left side of the field they beat it on right and left which is why it's very effective for reading two men under moving on uh, to the inside crosses finally okay so the inside cross what we like to do with this is we like to create a little uh, little halfback cross here we're gonna take um, our running back we're gonna put him on an out route uh, we're gonna take our fullback or excuse me we're take a fullback we're gonna put him on the out route we're gonna take our running back and we're gonna cross him so we're gonna put him on a swing route to the right side of the field and then we're gonna put our tight end on a zig okay now it gets man coverage first read is gonna be your tight end and as you see it beats man to man all right um let me actually see something here. This is kind of me just going rogue. That's interesting. It's a man switch. Okay. So, um, I was just kind of checking something out right there. I do want to see one other thing, though. Because we were running that inside cross the way I just told you guys to. Watch what happens. You see how they switch off? That's why we like to run it like that. So, anyways, your first read is a tight end. He beats man. The running back's not a read at all in this. Um, Except for like a very last ditch effort, and you have to give it, you know, you throw it to him or you get sacked. Um, second read is this little out route. Doesn't always beat man, I'll be honest. One thing you could do um, if you wanted to is you, I, if you look at this formation, the, the way we're aligned here, we have inside position, so we could just take advantage of that, put the fullback on the in route. But he'll interfere with the other route, so it's it's up to you. Um, also, I find that um, option routes are effective as well uh, for putting Miller on an option route here. Just because it'll allow him to beat man-to-man -man easier. But it interferes with the other route, so that's why I like to leave him on the out route. Um, normally, the out route is not going to be a main stream route. So what will you, you'll, you'll see people that, especially when they face this, they'll go something like this. And they'll go something like this, and, and they'll make sure that the tight end's manned up. When they do that, you could just dump this little out, little, little out route, baby out route to him uh, underneath. And then, um, real quick, the main two routes in this play are fourth and fifth read. Um, the fourth read is X. He's going to come over here like this heart line, wide open against man. And then the last read is Mike Wallace over the top. Going to burn the top of the defense over top here. Pass lead down to the inside. Click on. Make that catch. You're going to have one-on-one -on -one coverage. Take advantage of that. That is our base man beater from the far pro formation. Come back tomorrow to see our zone, our zone beater. And also come back later today. See how we play man defense and man 25.